Right, we need to find uh, the maximum and uh, minimum values of the particular expression given at the bottom here. And uh, we present uh, a solution to this problem in a step-by-step -step fashion as follows. Right, so we start and say we have been given the cosine of 45 degrees minus x multiplied by the cosine of 45 degrees plus x. And uh, what this is, is as follows. So you have that this is the same as the cosine of 45 degrees minus x multiplied by the trigonometric sine of 90 degrees minus into 45 degrees plus x. Okay, so this is the case. There's a co-function change where the cosine function changes to the sine uh, function at 90 degrees minus the argument, minus the angle. So you have this, that this is cosine of uh, 45 degrees minus x multiplied by. So here, this one is uh, the trigonometric sine of uh, 90 degrees minus 45 degrees minus x by distribution, right? So now, after having applied the distributive law here, this is 45 degrees minus x multiplied by the sine of, uh, now 90 degrees minus 45 degrees is 45 degrees minus x, like so. And so, we have the full that this is the cosine of 45 degrees minus x multiplied by the sine of 45 degrees minus x. Now, what is the meaning of this? Right, so now we clearly can see, therefore, that this can retain is 1 over 2 into 2 times the sine of 45 degrees minus x multiplied by the cosine of 45 degrees minus x, like so. Now, 2 times the sine of 45 degrees minus x times the cosine of 45 degrees minus x is the same as the sine of 2 into 45 degrees minus x. Okay, using what you call the trigonometric double angle formula, we apply the distributive law um, to distribute here because uh, multiplication distributes over um, subtraction. 2 times 45 degrees is exactly 90 degrees minus double x. So this is one half of the trigonometric sine of 90 degrees minus 2x. Now, this is 90 degrees minus 2x is an angle that is in quadrant 1. And in the first quadrant, using the cast diagram, where you have 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. Okay, the A stands for all positive, all positive functions between 0 and 90 degrees, so that the sign is positive, but it changes to its co-function. And uh, using what you call the COCO rule, we're able to convert the sign to the cosine function, so that here we indeed have the cosine of twice x, like so. Right, so we have this exactly. Now, having had this, there are a couple of things that remain extremely important here. A couple of things that remain extremely important. What are the important things? Uh, 
there's something with difficulty range. Right. Because this is a function. So the range, therefore, of this function is uh, minus one half. Right. So the range is minus one half. Whenever you have one half of cosine two x and um in other words you have that half cosine two x um lies between minus one half and one half and the uh, hence the minimum or well, the maximum first and then the minimum Um, right, let's just uh, write a little bit uh, here to make sure that we avoid any confusion, hence. The maximum. And the minimum. Values. of uh, <clears throat> the cosine of uh, 45 degrees minus x times uh, the cosine of uh, 45 degrees plus x or so the maximum is uh, one half and uh, the minimum is uh, minus one half, and these are the values respectively. Respectively. So in other words, in other words, what we have here is uh, that uh, hence the maximum and the minimum values are as given there, respectively. Okay, as indicated, we need to emphasize the fact that the maximum is a uh, one half and the minimum is a uh, minus one half. Okay, so we have that exactly. So um, because the minimum is this one minus one half and the maximum is that one there. Okay, now there is method two that you can use because what we used was method one. Okay, now there are a couple of things that are important here. So because we actually converted the first the, the this second part to the sine function. So we can convert this first part to to the sine function. So we proceed to do exactly that and demonstrate the power of mathematics. All right, so we are here and we are dealing with a cosine of 45 degrees minus x into the cosine of 45 degrees plus x. And this is the cosine of, uh, okay, so this can be converted to the trigonometric uh, sign by using the coco rule the trigonometric sign of uh, 90 degrees minus into 45 degrees minus x okay so you can put some square parentheses here like so okay so just putting in some square parentheses and we have here the cosine of 45 degrees plus x In which quadrant is 90 degrees minus? It is the first where all the trig functions are positive. So this is indeed, um, um, we have a positive uh, function here. And by the distributive law, this means we have minus 45 degrees plus x times the cosine of 45 degrees plus x. Okay. Now let's look at these, but look at these very carefully. What is 90 degrees minus 45 degrees? So 90 degrees minus 45 degrees is exactly 45. 
degrees. So this becomes the sine of 45 degrees plus x. So this equals the sine of 45 degrees plus x. Right, times. Multiplied by. So the second part is the cosine of 45 degrees plus x. Right, 45 degrees plus x. Right, the two angles are the same, 45 degrees plus x and 45 degrees plus x, but the, the trigonometric functions are those that are different. So we're going to put here one half, and we have two into the trigonometric sine of 45 degrees plus x times the cosine of 45 degrees plus x. Okay, now, this is the case. If you have two of this, therefore, is one half of the trigonometric sine of 2 into 45 degrees plus x. Right, using the trigonometric double angle formula, this equals this. You now multiply through into the parentheses, and we have one half of the trigonometric sine of 2 into now 2 times 45 is what? It's exactly 90 degrees plus twice x. We've seen therefore that 2 times 45 is 90 and 2 times x is exactly x, like so. And uh, what is uh, the meaning of all these here? So this 90 degrees plus x using what we call the cast diagram, Right, we're able to see that this, we know this is zero degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 180 degrees, this is 270 degrees, and this is 360 degrees. So the 90 degrees plus is actually an angle that is in the second quadrant in which the sign is positive, but there's something we call the Coco rule. Right, by the Coco rule, we know that the trigonometric sine changes to the trigonometric cosine function, that at least becomes the cosine of 2x, like this. All right, like so. Exactly like so. At this point, we are able to see that we have... Um, we have with us one half cosine two x, whose range is a uh, one half, one half cosine two x, one half. So, and we're able to see therefore that the maximum. Let's see the maximum first. What is the maximum? Right, we're able to see that. The maximum is what? Checking the maximum, please. <laughs> right, so we have the maximum. Is one half and the minimum. Is minus one half. The maximum is one half, and uh, so you can write. The maximum is one half, and uh, here the minimum is uh, uh, minus one half. Okay. Right. And uh, these are the maximum and the minimum of the function cosine um, of the expression cosine two x. Uh, cosine of 45 degrees minus x, cosine of 45 degrees plus x. Like so. Okay. Now we're going to present the third method. Method three. Right. There is a method three. In which you have uh, the cosine of 45 degrees minus x, cosine of 45 degrees plus x. Yeah, and then what do we do here? 
Right. Now, there is a method we can use to um, find the maximum and minimum using the compound angle formula. So in which case, therefore, we perform the expansion here, which is the cosine of 45 degrees, cosine of x, plus the sine of 45 degrees, the sine of x multiplied by the cosine of 45 degrees cosine x minus the sine of 45 degrees the sine of x. Okay, so the cosine of 45 degrees minus x can be expanded like this using what we call compound angle formula and the cosine of 45 degrees plus x can be written like this. Cosine 45 degrees is one over the square root of two. Something we call the, this uh, particular uh, special triangles. Square root of two, one, one. 45 degrees, 45 degrees. Cosine of 45 degrees is 1 over the square root of 2. The sine of 45 degrees is 1 over the square root of 2. In which case, therefore, you have 1 over the square root of 2 for cosine 45. Um, and the sine 45 is also 1 over the square root of 2. So it's going to be 1 over the square root of 2 the times cosine x. The sine of 45 is also 1 over the square root of 2, the sine of x, into 1 over the square root of 2 cosine x, and it's just a minus there, 1 over the square root of 2, the sine of x. Right, now we multiply these two. So this is like a difference of two squares. Difference of two squares, where we say a squared minus b squared is actually a minus b into a plus b, like so. Meaning you can perform multiplication here, multiplying these two, and you have one half cosine squared x minus one half sine squared x. Okay, so we take out one half here as a common factor, which is cosine squared minus sine squared. So if you have uh, one half of cosine squared x minus uh, sine squared x, this is one half of, uh, this is uh, the same as cosine 2x using trigonometric um, compound angle formula, and uh, the range of this expression is uh, minus uh, of, of the associated function. The range is uh, minus one half, um, less or equal to one half cosine two x, less or equal to one half, okay? In which case, therefore, the maximum. The maximum is uh, one half, and the minimum and the minimum and the minimum is minus one half. Okay, so the maximum is uh, the maximum is a positive one half from here. And the minimum is that one. Right, so we have solved uh, this problem and uh, now we can just uh, write a conclusion. After the three methods, uh, we conclude hence, we conclude that hence uh, the maximum and the minimum 
Well, hence the maximum equals uh, one half. And uh, the minimum And the maximum equals one half and the minimum equals uh, minus one half of the expression. Of the expression cosine 45 minus x cosine 45 plus x. Like so. Right, we have solved uh, this problem in detail and we have got uh, the result and we're able to infer and conclude that the, the maximum is uh, one half and the minimum is minus one half of the expression this, this one here. We have solved this problem step by step. And we are concluding about the results. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching and for joining us and goodbye to you.